I've talked before about the Clinton's body count. It's up over 90 now and still climbing. In fact, the last few weeks have been particularly bad. John Ash is former president of the United Nations Assembly. He held that position back in 2013 and 2014. He was facing charges in a bribery scandal with the Clinton Crime Foundation and was waiting to go to trial. On June 22nd of this year, he died unexpectedly while exercising. The official cause of death was traumatic asphyxia with fractures to the larynx. In other words, he accidentally crushed his own throat while lifting weights. 27-year-old Seth Rich was a voting data analyst for the Democrat National Committee. We now know that email leaks have exposed the DNC's fraudulent primary that stole the nomination from Batty Bernie and gave it to Hillary. On July 10th, Seth Rich, who had access to this information, was beaten to death and shot multiple times, including in the back. His assailants left behind his phone, watch, jewelry, and wallet. Joe Montano was an aide to Hillary's running mate, Tim Kaine. Right after the DNC email WikiLeaks, the 47-year-old Montano died on opening day of the Democrat convention. The official cause of death was a heart attack. Author Victor Thorne is best known for his work on Clinton scandals. He's written several books on Bill Clinton's rapes and other sexual assaults and was also gathering notes for another book he was writing on the Clinton body count. On August 1st, his birthday, Thorne was found dead of a gunshot wound to the head. His death was ruled a suicide. And the most recent is Sean Lucas, who served the Democrat National Committee with a class action lawsuit on behalf of Batty Bernie voters everywhere. Lucas famously declared, you've been served in a viral video. On August 2nd, he was found dead on his bathroom floor. The details of his death have not yet been released, but it's safe to say his cause of death is intent to expose the Clintons. So the Clinton wet work team certainly has been busy lately. On a side note, I feel compelled to tell the world that I have no intention of committing suicide anytime in the near future. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at TheRayWarnerShow.com.